While we study about wastewater treatment technology, we often come across a word called sludge. In general, we know that sludge produced during wastewater treatment. So does this sludge require any further treatment before disposed into environment? Well, answer is yes. It may surprise you, but it's true. Are you curious to know why we need to treat sludge which already produced at the end of the treatment process? If so, this lecture will answer your question and also how can we produce energy out of this waste sludge? Welcome to Environmental Engineering 2 Unit Number 5 Lecture on Introduction to Sludge Treatment and Biogas Recovery. My name is Mohammed Usman. I am Assistant Professor in Department of Civil Engineering, Pet Engineering College, Valdeo. This video will answer these awesome questions. What is mean by sludge? Why it's required treatment process? And how can we extract something useful out of this waste? What is mean by sludge? According to Wastewater Engineering Treatment and Reuse by McCoff and Eddy, solids removed from wastewater during treatment process is called as sludge. In detail, sludge is a collective term for settleable solids that get separated after treating wastewater. This includes primary sludge from sedimentation of raw sewage and surplus actuated sludge which is also called as waste actuated sludge produced during biological process. It's something similar to trash which we got after filtering the tea. Before diving to the next question, consider this simple example. If I add those trash into a cup of milk, what will happen? It will become a tea or otherwise it will pollute the originality of milk. Similarly, if we dispose sludge without any further treatment into environment, then it will pollute that environment too. That's why we need a treatment technique to solve this problem. Before proceeding to available techniques to treat the sludge, we need to know the composition of it. By knowing the composition of sludge, we can easily decompose it. But unfortunately, composition of sludge from a wastewater treatment plant is difficult to define. It depends upon the type of wastewater and the kind of wastewater treatment system we adopted. For example, the sludge we are, one we got from tannery industry is totally different from the one we got from the sewer can industry. Even though we can find some of the similar characteristics across the sludge. Sludge consists mainly of water. In fact, only 1% of solids in a original sludge which contains 70 to 80 percentage of organic matter and 20 to 30 percentage of inorganic matters. Normally, dry sludge consists of organic matters, that means one which disappear after ignition, inert material, that is ash content, organic microcontaminants, chlorine, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, and heavy metals. Sludge treatment generally consists of thickening, biological stabilization by anaerobic digestion and dewatering. In each process, water as well as contaminants were removed. Due to time limitation, I would like to concentrate on anaerobic digestion as well as how can we produce something useful out of this waste. Let's talk about sludge digestion. The thickened sludge from thickening process consists of 45 to 60 percentage of organic matter as well as 25 to 55 percentage of inorganic matters. Sludge digestion is considered as one of the useful techniques uh, in sludge treatment because it improves dewatering capacity thus a fresh sludge can absorb more amount of water and decreases sludge volume prevent odor and produce biogas that is a very important thing that's why we need to adopt anaerobic digestion what is mean by anaerobic digestion it contains two words one is anaerobic another one is digestion we know the meaning of digestion which we are already familiar with example uh, the food digestion in our stomach then anaerobic it is a process occur without oxygen which is opposite to aerobic process like biodegradable material uh, like sludge which is digested by microorganisms in the absence of oxygen is called as anaerobic process. In detail, it is a biological process where microorganisms break down biodegradable materials in the absence of oxygen that produce a high energy mixture of gas that is called as biogas which mainly consists of methane and carbon dioxide. You may surprise by knowing where this technique actually industrialized. It's none other than our nation India. In 1859, the world first digestion plant built in Mumbai and further development especially in biogas took place in England. Let's have a look at its process. Anaerobic digestions involve these following stages namely hydrolysis, fermentation which include acidogenes as well as actogenes and the third one is methanogenesis process. In the initial stage of hydrolysis, lipids converted into fatty acids, polysaccharides converted into monosaccharides, protein converted into amino acids and finally nucleic acids converted into promine as well as pyramids. In the second stage that is uh, fermentation process, acetogenic bacteria also known as acid, acid formers convert products from the previous process 
into a simple organic acid carbon dioxide and hydrogen the foremost acids produced in this process are acetic acid formic acid pituitic acid and ethanol lower chain volatile fatty acids during this acidogenesis were utilized by a group of bacteria called acetogens to produce acetate so this particular process considered as acidogenic process which is a subdivision of fermentation process and finally in the third stage it's called as a methanogenesis which is a final stage of anaerobic digestion and it also considered as a energy producing step because in this step alone we will produce a methane which can be utilized as a biogas here the microorganisms named methanogenics convert those previous products into the methane gas as well as the carbon dioxide uh, so finally we produce something useful out of this sludge by use of anaerobic digestion if you notice the flow of this reaction it starts from c6h10o5 which contains six carbon ions which ended up with uh, c that is a methane which contains only one carbon ion there is a huge reduction of uh, carbons from the initial stage to the final stage there is a lot number of research were going on in this field to enhance its sludge treatment as well as the energy recovery out of the sludge normally wastewater treatment plant require a huge amount of energy to run the plant uh, there is a initiative taken by wastewater treatment plant in germany in order to make it independent in meeting their energy uh, they are adopting uh, several techniques to extract energy from uh, during the wastewater treatment process without any doubt biogas play a vital role on its model i hope this video throw some light on sludge digestion as well as the biogas recovery from sludge uh, that's all about this video thank you for your patience and valuable time